three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack opening with me and Ninjas96. I'm back home, which means I have my proper setup. It's actually a lot better than it used to be, so there's that to look forward to. I've actually got the, the camera over here now rather than having it like there and having my legs sort of crossed around it. Anyway, that's that. Uh, we have a package today all the way from Japan. Um, this is actually an inspi a hashtag inspired video. Um, make if we can make that thing. I don't think we can. I don't think I want to. I'm not a fan of hashtags. Anyway, uh, not unironically. Anyway, so um, yeah, from Japan. Uh, I actually met up with someone uh, at university. Uh, he's very lovely, and he suggested I get this box. Well, actually, he he was gonna send me some cards from the box, but I decided no. I'm going to buy it so that he doesn't have to give me his cards. Um, so, here we go. I actually have very little clue what's in here, so I have the thing up to my side. Um, here we go. Oh, there's that. And there's also... Okay, it's not in there. That can go over there. Now. I assume in here is a couple of extra cards that I bought, just because they were cheap. So let's see if we can get into it. I'm really cautious of breaking it. There we go. Ooh, it's sealed. Ooh. So, uh, eh. okay. First off, we have this, which is the Shonen Jump Dark Magician. Uh, we actually do have this in English, but this one was like a third of the price. And the Japanese one's also pretty cool. And since I was ordering from Japan anyway, I thought may as well. So that's very nice. It's uh, signed by. The person whose name escapes me, I want to say, is signed by the artist, so that's really cool. And then we have, oh, I don't want to unseal this, but this is, this is really cool. Um, so this is from Shun Jump, I believe, yeah, Jump, Shun, Shun Jump, up there. Um, and this is Blue Eyes White Dragon, so in the, in Japan, in, and in America in fact, for some of these cards, uh, they get the jump magazine, and then these are like inserted in, and then you open them. I think you just tear along here to open them, and then that's how you get your card. That's really awesome. I didn't realize it would be sealed. I'm actually, uh, you can see the artwork. It's blue eyes with Kyber on. It's also in a funky new rarity. Um, I don't think I'm gonna open it actually. I would have I would have shown you it if it was not sealed. But sealed, I don't want to. I don't want to show you. I don't want to open it. Uh, certainly not just ripping it. So we're gonna just keep that like so. Uh, that's really irritating. That the card's not centered. There we go. Cool. Um, but now for the main event. Um, it's kind of not going to film. What's it called? Bubble wrap. Here we go. Here we go. The Link Brains box. Now this contains a bunch. This is like you're guaranteed to get everything in here. Uh, it's got Firewall, Gooky, Thun Master, Thunder, Great Ogre, Borolo Dragon, and Trickstar Holly Angel. Uh, now I want to obviously open this with as little damage as possible because I love it, I like I'm a box hoarder, um, by by trade. It's actually something that I've been kind of taught by my mum and my brother. They're like, no, no, yeah, keep the box, because if you want to sell it, it'll be more valuable. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. And, uh, oh, no, I've just ripped it. Okay, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to cut it. Cool. Now, how do you open? Oh, you're like a chest, okay. I wish we got boxes like this in, in England. This is almost like the Pokemon EX collections, but done by Yu-Gi-Oh. And oh, these are actually the first alt arts we've had in a very long time as well, besides Dark Magician Blue Eyes. So, here we go. Um, one issue with the camera being over there is I can't unflap the flap. So, we've got some promos. Over there. Have this is oh this is very nice. Eh. And eh. cool. 
Okay, so we have this deck box, a pack of card sleeves, which I did not expect, that's cool. Then we have, oh, that's got all of our promos in. Okay, that was explain why the box is empty. Um, get these out. I'm not sure whether to sleeve these up in their own sleeve, in these brain sleeves, or if I want to keep the set together. Um, cool, cool. So yeah, as I say, I can't read Japanese. I have all the names on my computer next to me, but I don't even recognise half the cards. So we're starting off with Alternate Art Firewall Dragon, actually. We take a quick detour for the video. Oh, it's not in there, is it? It's in that one over there. Damn. Um, I'm gonna get these ones out anyway. There's you, and there's you. We probably don't have that. Okay. Well, I have a firewall and borrow load elsewhere, but. Um, if you're really lucky, I'll put a Firewall Dragon on screen just here. Um, but yeah, there's Firewall Dragon, Alt Art. It's actually got three different printed Alt Arts uh, in OCG, but we only have this the original one. So there's Firewall Dragon, then we have Borrow Dragon. That looks really cool. And actually, for Japan, this was a really good reprint, because this is a really good card. And it's one of those like, 50, 60 pound cards, just because you kind of want it in every deck, no matter what. Move this off to the side. Uh, then we have Guki the Great Ogre, and uh, this is the original printing of it, just because I have it on hand. So yeah, not too different. It's not it's not like a super great card either. And then Trickstar Holly Angel, and uh, this is the original. Mm -hmm. So again, not, not too different, but different enough, I suppose. But to be honest, you're probably, you're getting the box for the Firewall Borrow Load and these other random cards. Okay. So we have this one, which is Double Byte Dragon, as in Gigabyte, double B-Y-T-E Dragon. And uh, I think, I'm pretty sure, if memory serves, this guy is actually really good for your dragon decks. Uh, and these are oh, these two link monsters. Okay, that's the problem with it. Uh, again, stack equal to the link rating of monsters used for the link summon. Unaffected by monsters' effects, except link monsters can't be destroyed in battle, except by link monsters. So, oh, I've just closed everything. Crap. Okay, so uh, yeah, this guy's actually pretty cool. Uh, then you have this thing. I have no idea. It's some sort of frog fish. Help. Internet. There we go. Former skipper. No idea. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the effects. Um, Proxy Dragon. We have this in English now. This might have been their first printing of it, but very cool. Backup Secretary. Ultra Rare. It's pretty cool. Stack Reviver. Also Ultra Rare. Uh, this is a brand new Trickstar card. Trickstar Magicarola, and uh, from what I was looking at, this is really important in the Link deck. So yeah, she's pretty neat. Um, let's organize this a bit better. There we go. And this is Trickstar. Oh no, that was Foxy Witch. This is Magicarola. Some sort of equipment magic card. And then an ultra rare printing of Trickstar Lilybell and Licorice and a Candina. Wow. This box would be super valuable to get in uh, in English. And then for the new Goki cards, we have Goki Jet Ogre. It's pretty cool artwork, at least. Some sort of piratey swordsman dude. And then Goki Deathmatch. Which is a field spell card for them. Very nice, very nice. And then of course we have the ultra rare Twist Cobra, which I don't know, it's an actual, it's a, it's font. 
Twist Cobra Super X rematch. Um, this is Revolver Dragon? Booster Dragon. Again, a pretty good card for the Dragon deck. And he looks really good. And then Tactical X Chamber. It's got Borrowload and another monster on it. Don't know what that does, but it looks really cool. And then, again, for the Rocket deck, we have Magna Rocket Dragon, Squib Draw, and Boot Sector Launch. So yeah, that is it for the Link Brains box. Uh, and then, of course, you also get the sleeves. And this deck box, which folds out like that, it's got... I can't show you. You're going to have to put up with it being upside down. Um, and the glare. It's got Firewall on it. And oh my days, I have more stuff in it. Oh. Really, what's up this? This is awesome. There's only like thirty pounds translated money. So you have this. This is a little plastic deck box. What? Um. Hello and welcome to another episode of Building the Ninjas. Right. So this goes in like so, then this goes across, right? Um, eh. I think I need to just fold in all the edges first. Right. This is the ninja's difference. Lesser YouTubers would have ignored this product and not built it, but I care for my audience. And I don't think this is how it's... Hey? Oh, that doesn't go... Oh, okay. Oh, that goes there. I see, I see. We're getting there. There we go. So that's a nice little plasticky deck box. It's actually not terrible quality given I've just built it. And it's got Playmaker, Revolver, Go. Gore. His name's Gore in English. And Blue Angel, whose name escapes me. And of course, the, these are five. That's Playmakers, Revolvers, uh, the. Go and Blue Angels cards. That's awesome. And that's not all. We've got another pack of sleeves with Yusaku and Firewall Dragon on it. Amazing. And we get three booster packs a Japanese Code of the Duelist, Circuit Break, and Extreme Force. So let's see what we can get out of these. I don't particularly need to keep them. So we're going to open them properly. I've got intended. Which I actually dislike, by the way. For the record, I don't like the fact I prefer the English way of opening. Maybe the Japan hate the English way. Anyway, we've got Trickstar Lily Bell in common, Backup Secretary, Double D Vice Typhon, and oh wow, we actually got Spellbook of Knowledge. I believe that's Spellbook of Knowledge, a super rare. That's actually a really good card to get in English. Um, yeah, that'll do. We can go up there. Uh, and then the rare. I don't remember what this rare is, but I already have one in Japanese uh, over there somewhere. So that's neat. Uh, circuit break. Can we get a Borrelo Dragon? <laughs> Anis Rocket Dragon. One of the rockets that weren't in the box. Ling Ling. Corolla Dendrite, I think. Arrival Rivals, which is a common for them. And Altergast Meliseek, which is only a rare for them. We have these both as ultra rares. That's really weird. Oh, this is actually quite a neat card. It lets you normal summon a monster during the battle phase. An extra monster during the battle phase. Uh, and many seek. Altergeist is one of my favourite archetypes of all time. So we're going to put that over there. And Extreme Force. Can we get a Sayuja? Uh, I assume one super rare is the best we're going to get. Which is fine. Because I didn't even expect to get these. So uh, Mech Knight Union Yellow Sunset or something. Crimson Axe Dude. What kinetic puppeteer? 
a psychic card. And, ooh, I didn't realise this was an ultra rare in Japan. Uh, this is Tindangle Acute Cerberus. Uh, this was only common for us. Um, the Tindangles aren't they look very good, but it's a pretty cool card to get. Especially since we only have it as a common. So yeah, there we go. We got an extra little chunk of content. That's really cool. This box is well worth it. I ended up paying about 50 quid, which is not ideal. Um, because of the import tax. But to be honest, well worth it. <laughs> um, th this box being £30 retail price is insane. If we got one of these retail price 30 quid in the TCG, I would buy three of them straight away. I'd probably buy four or five of them straight away to keep and sell them on later because cards like this will regain their value. Um, cards like this, I mean, not really like this, but there are cards here that, oh, they're trick stars, where in a few years, these will be really hard to find. So yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.